What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Tour. I'm Luke Hill. Hey. Okay, yeah. and y'all know each other, Luke <laughs> Hill and, yeah. and Too Rare. For sure. yeah. Would you say you guys are friends or just... No, we're yeah, friends for sure. For sure. We got to lock in more, man. though. No, okay. Sure. Like, Definitely. that puts y'all on the spot. Like, yeah, yeah, nah, you know, we got to lock in more. I fuck with bro. Have for it. sure. Definitely. Mm -hmm. sure. All right, well, let's get right to it. Now, Luke Hill, let's talk about you first, because <laughs> you have a baby on the way. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Congratulations bro. Appreciate that. I'm actually nervous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. like, you know what I'm saying. Like I don't know. I feel like this world kind of crazy right now to bring a kid into, but like it's definitely like a blessing. Absolutely, like this world is always gonna be crazy though. It was crazy when you were born. You know, it's just a yeah. different crazy. Always. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's definitely like escalated, but I feel like I'm gonna have some fun though. Yeah, yeah you know what sure. you having yet? A oh, boy. Damn. Ooh. Little, little cub. I feel like that's why like, I'm even more excited because like, yeah, I get like a little, little kid. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Aww. It's funny because like, I think it's, um, I feel like guys always want a boy first. Mm -hmm. Not girls all the time, are, though. Because girls make y'all nervous like to have, you think about <laughs> all the shit too. you done did. No, that's facts, that's facts. But I feel like, like as a guy, like when I actually found out I was having a kid, like I thought about the pros and cons of each. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like boy or girl. And like, it was a lot of stuff. Like, I feel like a girl really will turn you to a man, you know? Okay. And really like a girl you up right. protection wise and everything. I feel like guys have different things to worry about growing up, like boys. Like, first of all, y'all be, not that we don't too, but I feel like boys have to fight a lot more. No, that's facts. You know? And you like, have, gotta fight more. <laughs> like, have you ever been too rare? Have you ever been jumped? Uh, no, I ain't never As been a kid jumped. or nothing? Never. Okay. I jumped people before. Oh, shit. Been you jumped. grew up in North Philly. I know you didn't been in some fights. Nah, I've been in some fights for sure, but I yeah. ain't never like get jumped. You feel me? Yeah. I feel I'd be too fast for that shit anyway. I'm taking off on a nigga. So like, <laughs> and now nah. y'all got to worry about like somebody filming some shit. You know, it's yeah. so many things you have to think about now. Yeah, hell yeah. You ever been jumped? Hell no. Nah. I don't even play like that. No. Y'all are lucky because I just feel like, because I'm from Brooklyn, so growing up, I always felt, and I have an older brother, yeah. so I always feel like one of the things about being a guy, and women definitely, girls definitely have to worry about this too, but you have to think about things like that. Like, why do you, what, in what ways do you think that boys have it harder than girls and vice versa when you think about the pros and cons? Man, y'all got it way easier as far as like being in them clubs. Y'all getting free just off of y'all looks. You but we me? get our period every month. That's the only thing y'all fired got that we fired on. That's a fact, though. <laughs> that's the only thing for real, for That's real. a fact. But, but, the, but I ain't gonna lie, like, y'all period affect us too because, like, oh you got God. a girlfriend or something like that. <laughs> That's but that's like, I'm dope. being real though, you got a girlfriend, that's when like yeah, the mood dope. swings and like, you see what I'm saying? So shit, it's like, you lose, I lose. It go, bro, it go both ways on that one. Girl, <laughs> shit, and she got to give birth. Can you imagine what that would feel that's like? That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't even like, <laughs> I don't even like, <laughs> I don't even like thinking about that. <laughs> no. What? Who got kids? Y'all got kids? Yeah, yeah they do. I don't. Mm. Yeah. Why you, yeah, I, why you um, don't got kids? No. Okay. Why I don't like, I? I just never, I worked so hard earlier to not get pregnant. And yeah, like that's real. Yeah, like I was very cautious. I was on the pill, like all from when I was in college, because right. I got pregnant when I was in college, and I was like, "Oop, don't want to do that." And so I never <laughs> wanted to go through that again. So I was yeah. like on the pill forever after that. And then you know, I always just felt like very career driven, and I was like, "Ah," right. you know. So I was always really cautious about it. But are you at the point where like you want kids? Um, I wouldn't mind having one. Like, I don't know if it'll happen because that's another thing women have to worry about. Like, at the point when you do want to have a kid, it's different. Like for y'all, nobody get the ticket. Yeah, you you guys are still gonna be able to go out and work. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. for a woman, like to get pregnant and have to take time off and right. like, you know, it's Can't a little different. That. But it's probably hard for you to not think about having to be on the road. Facts. You mm -hmm. know, did that's you take real. time off when you know the babies do? Like, I'm home. Oh. Uh, Kind of, sort of. Like, mm -hmm. yes and no. Like, I'm definitely pushing it a little bit because I got, you know what I'm saying, biz and stuff to do, but I'm trying to make it everything. Right. For sure, because you got to be there, you know? Yeah. Now, what about you, too, Have you ever had any scares? Hell yeah. Too scared. A couple of times. Too scared. <laughs> <laughs> a couple Too scared. of times. Plan B, King, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow. For real. Some things like you know how hard that is outdoors. for a guy to pull out? I don't. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't, it was just like, <laughs> it was a couple of times that shit happened to me. It's not that hard for me to pull out. Are you more lie. cautious now that you've had those Hell yeah. scares? What? So what happened? Like, tell us like what went wrong, because you don't have a problem pulling out. No, I don't got a problem pulling out. So basically like- Do you use condoms? 
Yeah, I use condoms. Okay. Hell yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, this is with a girl that I wasn't using condoms with, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So like, the bitch was riding me and shit. When she was riding me, she going up and down and shit. She kept like, kept saying nothing to me. <laughs> kept, she, like, she kept saying nothing to me, you feel me? I'm like, no, like, I, you feel me? So I ain't gonna lie, that's how they get you though, when they riding and all that, y'all in a motion, whatever. I like you your, feel your, me? your like, hand right. motions. Yeah. No, for real, motion. like, <laughs> she going up, up and down and shit, dang. <laughs> feel me? I peep, I'm about to bust, I'm like, oh, I lift her up. But I guess that shit still, like, you know? Right, a little bit. I ain't left her, yeah, like a little you bit still. You, like, you ain't get it all the way up off there. But I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if I really nut it all the way in. You feel me? <laughs> all it, the it, it was just one. like, that's Not what I'm saying. That, like, it know, was just like a just in case, John. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna still grab this. Right? Huh? You know you can get pregnant by pre cum. Damn. I feel like I some heard guys that. are more leaky. I don't think I believe in that. Though. You get it's pregnant real. pre cum. You feel it too. Yeah. You yeah. feel it. But you it come feel... out of nowhere. Yeah, you feel that shit. You feel pre cum? <laughs> yeah. You feel that shit. It's like I a little I feel like, like some guys are more leaky than others. Yeah. It's a leak. That's like you could though. tell. That's facts, though. You know? I don't think yeah. I, I don't want that get bro, pregnant without coming inside of girls. So what happened? You you had her take a plan B? Hell yeah. Okay. But see, that's the other Go thing about puff. guys. You never know if she took it for real. Go Puff. No, I watched it. No, you that. watch her. You I know. watched it for sure. You could get a plan B off Go Puff? Yeah. Wow. Yes, you great. can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you can know. get it from Walgreens on Uber. She know. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, I don't have no <laughs> task <laughs> rabbit. So. I, Go Puff. I haven't I've sure. never had to take a plan B in my life. But I know it's there. No? Never? No. That's why you got kids, I did. Well, I only have one child, and she's a grown woman. She's older than me, y'all. Oh, but man. but um at this point I'm no longer able to have children and it's not a bad thing. I'm I'm actually grateful. You're happy my child is grown. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I don't have to worry about that I haven't taken a plan B yeah. in a long time, but I have, and mm-hmm. it totally ruins your cycle. Like I had a fucked up period for yeah, a I heard that too. Yeah, I heard yeah. about that shit. Sure. So I I'm, I'm like the one that's refusing to take plan B. Like God is gonna do it. Right, Don't if it's worry, meant to be. I'm not going to get pregnant. Damn. Right. Hey, Sarah. Ooh, Sarah. you, you yeah. playing Russian roulette with that pussy, huh? Yeah, nah, you can't. I nah, I you can't. You can't play like Let's that. Let's see what happens. I don't play. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I like condoms. Condoms are fine for oh, me. Uh, I I am i don't like having raw sex. Right. Having raw sex makes me paranoid. I, like, do you want to have sex with me, like, really calm? Or do you want right. me to be like this? Yeah, because, no, you know, sex, the whole oh, time. Oh, 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 That's the other thing you have to worry about is STDs. I ain't never meet a girl that love condoms. Sex yet. I yeah, condom sex sucks, but you still have to do <laughs> it. Huh? Condom sex sucks, but you still have to do yeah. it. I don't think it sucks. It's fabulous. It's all about like you can make it sexy, like putting it on the right. Put it way. on with your mouth. <laughs> and then it make it right. last longer. Right. No, and no, then the do. guy isn't yeah. under pressure on where he has That's to put his nut. Code. He could come it's inside of you, code. and you could feel him come <laughs> inside of you without actually making that mess. Yeah, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? And you don't fuck up the pH. Period. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. like my pussy stays perfect with a condom. Why would I ever want to change that? <laughs> right, right. No, but look, how, did you plan to have a baby or was this like a nice surprise? Hell nah. But like, it was a surprise, but it wasn't. Do you remember time. the day? Like, do you remember when it happened? I ain't gonna lie, like, like thinking back. I ain't gonna lie, like, <laughs> with, like so much. Like, it's just like when that shit like just happened, like, you just like, damn, what? Because you know, you do it so many times, it's like it gets to a point where in your mind, you like, I'm nah, saying. that shit ain't gonna happen. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause you just so many times and it just like one day got that call. So <laughs> you don't remember the exact day, the position or nothing? He was nah, like, it could have been any time. Like, yeah. I do. Cause I be knowing you I feel remember me? When like, I, I know when I I mean I didn't know at the moment. How many babies but, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like I just know, like, you feel me? Nah. To not like, know is even crazier, I definitely, bro. I definitely got like my questions like, all right, it was probably that day. Like mm-hmm. right. that day just seemed like the day, yeah. like it was like crazy. Yeah, yeah, like all like, I had was vegetables time, that man. day and yeah, you know, like plenty of water. Of like that day it was more like into it. Like, you feel me? Like <laughs> Like, you I probably was saying stuff like, you have my baby. Like, yeah. Like, it be them types <laughs> of things. I have my baby. Hilarious. Got I got pregnant in a blizzard, y'all. What? A blizzard? Yeah. Like, we can't go outside. Yeah. So, in 1996, uh, Philadelphia had a 31-foot snowstorm. Oh, so, yeah, the oh, Philly shit. name. Yeah. I'm from yeah. Philly. Oh, are you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't know that. I, we, I told you that called me. I called you my young girl. I know, I'm from but Philly. I just thought you just did your oh, research. No, you know no, me? Like, no, I'm I from know. Philly. I'm an uptown John. Oh, life. okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm from okay, my area. Okay, that's love. So, um, <laughs> there used to be, there's a hotel on City Line behind Fridays. It used to be the Holiday Inn. I don't yeah. know what it is now. A, yeah. a, 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 something else. But anyway, I was at that hotel for three days, snowed in. 
and nine months later, I had a baby. Damn. Yeah, so well, I had a blizzard, blizzard baby. baby. It was a thing. It was on the news and everything. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, it's, 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 a, it's a thing. You can Google it right now. Damn. The blizzard of 96, 10 months later, of course. Because they do months. talk about when there the most babies, babies are born in like September and yeah. October because people have sex around the holidays, mm-hmm. like around it was it was It was Christmas. the end of January, yeah, like around the 29th. For real, ain't mm-hmm. yeah. Around the 29th or the 30th of January is when I conceived my daughter. And she was born October 15th. Damn. Yeah. What a special I treat. can't relate. He's, you why? don't remember? <laughs> he had too much going on. Nah, said, I ain't gonna lie. Like the the time I I think it happened, like we was in the cabin on some crazy shit. Like, what the fuck is a cabin? In a cabin, like you, you know, like, like, like out in the woods, like yeah, in the like in the woods. Yeah. They were glamping. Some real shit. Yeah. You got something like people a long cabin. Like on a vacation. Oh, That's a cute yeah. vacation. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. You gotta go. You gotta go get an Airbnb cabin in the Poconos. Nah, I do gotta do that. That seemed like an experience. And there's like nothing better to do but fuck. Yeah, the cabins is lit. Yeah, they are lit. But you gotta get one of the good cabins though, like the ones like three story with the pool. Yeah, that sounds like some movie shit though. It is though. It's some movie shit like the hot tub. I think I right. think one of Angela's Airbnbs is good for glamping. Oh, you yeah, have one Airbnb. upstate. Yes, I do. It's beautiful. Girl. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, I check that out on Airbnb. Like Listen, right. yeah. in the cat skills, <laughs> right? We'll leave some plan B in the gift basket when you check in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell me, so what was the call like when you got the call? Like, what was I ain't gonna lie, like I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of crazy because like she was mad at me at the time. So I'm thinking like. She on some mad shit because oh. I was like on some shit with some girls, like, but like on live and shit like that. Just on some like funny shit on TikTok and shit like that. And um, I remember I was just in the bed, like on live shit, talking to the girls and shit. And then I got a message talking about like I'm crying. I'm like, she tripping. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like I got off live and I called. I'm like, why you crying? Like, you good? Like, you feel me? But then like she like, no, nah, I'm pregnant. I'm like, oh, Ooh. like it like was a catch off guard. I really thought she was mad. Right. She really yeah. was like talking about some pregnancy. Wow. So she wasn't mad that she was on the live. She just yeah, she wasn't mad. Was probably, is this her first baby as well? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Facts. So when did you get excited? Like when were you like, right. wow, this is because it is scary. It you took know, a we second. can't take away for that. Okay. It took a second. Like I feel like when I, when I found that shit out, like I just laid there for like an hour, like and looked at the ceiling on some shit. Cause like, <laughs> did you tell first? <laughs> I was I was with my homeboy. At this time, y'all yeah, with my homeboy. He like, what happened? <laughs> my girl, I, 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 like, I ran right. to his room because you know, like when you get in hotels and shit, like everybody got their own separate room and shit. So right. I ran to his room. I'm <laughs> beat on his shit. He like. Like, yo, yo, what's going on? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Niggas be on some like paranoid shit. Right. I'm like, yo, my girl's like pregnant. He like, what? Like, damn. That shit, shit. was crazy though. Wow. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Right. But it's some advice that you've gotten from like a family member or somebody that's close to you that already has children? Nobody <sighs> told you anything yet? Nah. Because I feel like everybody already know like I'm stable enough to really like take care of kids. So it's like nobody really thinking they head like, all right, I give them some advice. Like people just like, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't wear yourself out type shit. Yeah. I'm going to give you some advice. I need okay. some. Time need over some. money. Time over money. That's real. Mm-hmm. That's really Wait, what you mean by that though? Spend time over money. Spend more time and less money. Not like, to say okay. like less money. Of, but some going people, on, like, some people feel like when they are in a place of life where they're comfortable mm-hmm. financially, that they can put money. that financial on the kid, and that's right. enough. Right. But the kid is going to need your time more than the kid needs your money. But yeah, right. but I, I straight already thought about that too. Though. Yeah. Like I feel like when you find stuff out like that, like you just sit down, you take a moment, and you just think like, mm-hmm. what's what am I going to do for the next eighteen years? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And like I feel like. Me growing up not having no like father figure like heavy, you know what I'm saying? Like I definitely like want to be that yeah. place. You know what I'm saying? Good for, you. Uh, for sure. That's yeah. gonna be and listen, your songs are so sweet already. Thank you. I Appreciate feel that. like this is you know I could just picture you. Can you can you picture singing to your baby? <laughs> and I ain't gonna like lie, that? I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you are. She's I feel like, like you are. You but my girl, my girl be on my ass that. about that. She's like, <laughs> she's like, bro, you got. But I ain't gonna lie, like on some real shit, like on some real shit, I'm straight like like I'm a shy singer. Like, do you sing to your girl? No, nah, like I don't like singing, like. But what I you like, mean? Yeah. bro, you I like singing. singing, like in the studio and shit like that. Like, I feel like when I'm getting my lyrics across, I like singing and shit. But like, if I was here right now and like, yeah, I was like, oh, sing, 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 like. No, but to your girl, cause look, 
What is the point that of shit. having a man who can sing if, if he's he not, not going to sing to you? I'm not going to lie. That shit looks different. That's like I'm some gonna gonna That's lie. like crap. Wait, no, Being Stephanie. Being with a guy who sings, I'd be like, go, go, go. That's yeah. like having yep. a girlfriend who's a massage therapist, but she ain't going to give you no massage. Like, right. But like, I do it. <laughs> I do it if she Am asks, right? but it's yeah, like, what's the point? Nah, yeah. dude. I've been with somebody right who sings really good. He, yes. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. He sings in bed. He sings mm -hmm. in the shower. He sings he sing to wake me day. up. He just yeah. sings. For real? Yeah. yeah. He'll I sing on the band. Nice thing. Yeah. You need to start. start, please. You got to get out your comfort zone. You, you don't sing to the baby in the belly or nothing? You got to start. I ain't going to lie. I did do that before. See? Okay. I did that before. Yeah. I be, but I be doing weird shit. Like, I be I be reading to her stomach and shit. Yes. That's not that's weird. weird. That's so weird. That's not weird. Look at you. We're ready to have a baby now. And Look at him. I feel like he's just like, here. Think about it. Like, For me, the best advice to give a <laughs> new parent funny. is to talk to your kids a lot. Like, yeah. like speak to them all the time. Always yeah. communicate with them because it's going to make them really, really intelligent. Yep. You but you, know? said, you said your father wasn't around like the way... You would have not having a father figure in your life. What was your experience like growing up? My father was, but he wasn't. My mom always played that role. You feel me? Like my mom had him on some child support shit. Mm -hmm. So like he was here, then he was, you know, like he was, I ain't gonna lie, like he wasn't like a nut ass father. Like he wasn't ghost ghost, you feel me? But it's like, like the way I be seeing other niggas' fathers and all that, like, he wasn't in it like not that. Not consistent. Nah. Like, he wasn't consistent for sure. Okay. Like he'll probably come around on some birthday shit, like or make sure he send me like a little birthday text or something. You feel me? But it wasn't like no. Yo, you we out this week. We out that week. You feel me? I'm coming to pick you up type shit like that. You you think something like that affects how you treat women? No. Or anyway, because sometimes we don't even know. Like, hey, like my mom really raised me right, so I really know how to treat a woman. You feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. okay. So like I probably really ain't never need a father for that because I had uncles. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got, good. Yeah, like when you got uncles. uncles in, like you feel me, like a big brother that. Yeah. To see with girlfriends and shit like that, you already gonna know. Like, oh, I gotta do this. I gotta buy roses. I gotta you feel me take her out to eat. Like, oh, you do all of that. That is so sweet. Yeah, okay, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? What's a good place to go eat in Philly? Like, what's a good date spot? Uh, I like Budokan. I okay, love Budokan. Yeah, I like Budokan. It's yeah. good. It's like a vibe, though. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, you ain't gonna. See too many people there. And nothing I remember like, my first so. time going to Budokan. I used to dance at the Lila's, and my sugar daddy took me. <laughs> That's crazy. I had the angry lobster. They still got the angry daddy? lobster on the menu. Huh? They still got the angry lobster. Hell on the menu. yeah! That's they have Budokan yeah. here in Manhattan too. I've never been mm -hmm. to the one here. I take my mom there every year for Mother's Day. Yeah. Damn. So yeah, you already like know what Budokan is. Right here. Here Budokan is a meatpacking, right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. right across the street from. I've never been to the one here, but I used to go to the one in Philly all the time. Damn, I gotta be to the one here though. Budokan, Morimoto, all of them spots. Yeah. All right, so um, is your your girl right? Is she from St. Louis or where is she from? Nah, she from Detroit. Oh, she from Detroit. Okay, yeah. that's Angela's second home. Yeah, that's my How second home. How you meet her though? Instagram. The yeah. You know, oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was it was some crazy shit though. Like, <laughs> like I sent her DMs to get on her home girl. Oh wow! What? Yeah. Was you already lit or would you still? I was lit. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I was lit. <laughs> okay. But like, yeah, I slid her shit on her home girl. And what happened? Shit, like, I had talked to a homegirl, and she just, like, really, like, wasn't talking about shit for real. Mm -hmm. And then I just was like, fuck it, like, what's up with you? Like, <laughs> yo, you I like, shit, mine as well. But, like, wow. she was cool. Like, she that's was, like, crazy. genuine and shit like this. That's what I fucked So, up. is she still friends with the girl? All right. Oh, that's yeah. good. Because ain't nothing, no, that's crazy. nothing transpired. That's wild. That's, that's some wild shit. That's, that's not crazy. that wild. It's not that crazy. I've been in similar situations. It, it, it wasn't serious. It's not like... Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like y'all It's not like I hit her up and was talking to her for like no. years or some shit like You that. make me want to leave the one hey, away. Hey, stop. Damn. This couch is a maze. All right, now ev obviously everybody knows you from not just music but also from dancing. Yeah, right. So what was it like growing up? You just were always yeah, you know dancing. Like you from Philly, so mm -hmm. you know like the little block parties and yeah. shit like that. Like you feel me? I mm -hmm. was always like the one like no nah, battle the mascot. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So I've been like dancing since like a pup for real, for real, but I really had brought it back out of me like. During the time, like, the baby had his run, because I seen, like, because I ain't gonna lie, when I first started music, I hopped on some thorough shit, like, some hood shit, like, and I'm like, no. Nah. You feel me? Once I seen bro pop up, I'm like, he kind of showed me, like, I could get creative, mm -hmm. I could do this, I could do that, so I really hopped in my bag, like, you feel me? Right. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna just be myself, so that's when I really started dancing in some of my videos and shit like that, and I peeped, it brought me more attention. Yeah, and I think having fun is a good thing. Hell yeah! So I feel like for a period of time that was kind of missing, but mm -hmm. it's 
it is somewhat back. Yeah, you know? sure. And you've had some like iconic um, collabs with people too. Yeah, for sure. You know, so talk about that a little bit, just like getting those calls because, you know, just being like younger in the game. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know you guys are, you know, for being a double XL freshman and everything, right. but um, just getting those calls from like a Drake or working with Uzi, like being from Philly. Right. Did y'all know each other? How did no, that even? No, we didn't know each other. Like as soon as I popped off, you know, when you pop off, they hear you. So they start reaching out. You feel me? But PNB Rock was like the first one from Philly to really like reach out to me and really like, no, nah, bro, see, we got to tap That's in. dope. So, but I kind of text Uzi like, no, nah, bro, I need you on this, John. Like, you feel me? That's when I had my song Cupid. Mm-hmm. Feel me? He did it, but he was going through a little something, so we didn't get to really, you know what I mean? And that's when I got Dirk on it. Mm-hmm. Feel me? But other than that, it's like, the more I was going up, the more I'm going up now, like, the more people reach out to me. And I, and I realized that like, Drake, Dirk, you feel me? A couple other big ones, but yeah. That's tough to be able to reach out to people. Sometimes people's egos don't allow them to do that. Yeah, like, you know, there's somebody yeah. you would want to work with. Right. But you'd be like, eh, I don't know if I should, you know. I ain't a lot of Dirk DM fucked me up, though, the most, I feel like. Because I had DM Drake when I seen him, like, you feel me, hop on Sticky. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, nah, bro. Like, he hopped on a wave that I was on, the club shit, so. Right. And I DM him, he's like, yeah, bro, we got to do this and do that. But Dirk hit me up, like. I need you on the 7220 Deluxe. You feel me? And I'm like, like, damn. (laughs) Like, we were just banging his album the whole time. You you, you feel me? You DM me, tell me you want them. You feel me? You like, you want me on the Deluxe? Say no more. That's lit. So, yeah. When did you realize um, that you made it? Uh, I don't know. I feel like just seeing, like, people just fuck with your shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You post some shit, like, people just really, like, fucking with your shit and it's organic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really it. Because, like, I blew up when I was in high school type right. shit. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it went from, like, me being regular walking through the halls to people, like, singing my songs and shit through the hallways. You know what I'm saying? That's like, decent. It's, like, little shit like that that's just, like, you know what I'm saying? You walking through public, people like, oh, shit, like, ooh, that's a singing nigga, <laughs> da, 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 da. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and it just be like, yeah, like. And then, like, also, like, going to other cities and being noticed. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you might know me from my That's city, but know. me going to another mm-hmm. city and you looking at uh, me like, yeah. oh, shit, there go, bro. Like, da, da, da. Yeah. That'd be like, you know what I'm Was there a moment when you were like, shit, this really, like, <laughs> I'm the shit? Was there ever a moment when you were like, this really happening? I don't know. I feel like when you just living in the moment, you never really, like, notice it for real like you just living for real st know? louis having a moment right now too i have yeah, to say yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> louis definitely in the back yeah. right now. Rigged, rigged. Yes. Crazy, for sure, for sure. isn't that amazing though to have like a few people at once really blowing up yeah mm-hmm. from where you from yeah yeah for sure like, have y'all done anything together like in the city or planning to do anything like as far as what like a give back or you know I feel like that'd be dope. Yeah, we ain't that we ain't planning, but I definitely like would do it for sure. You know what I'm saying? The holidays are coming up too. No, for sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. That should be gravy. Yeah. Yeah, that's something yeah. you should probably look into. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. You gotta put it together. Mm-hmm. So did you do you still live there? No, no, no. Okay, when I did moved, I moved to Texas. Oh, so when did you move? How long ago? Um uh, Man, I lived everywhere, so it's like <laughs> Damn. I moved out at like eighteen by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And when did you leave St. Louis? Uh, 18, eighteen, not that long ago. I just want to 18, say. Oh, okay. <laughs> three years. You moved ago. out of St. Louis. Wait, how old you was now? Twenty one. Yeah, yeah, that's three yeah. years ago. He said that like it was well, that long. That's love. You could move out at eighteen. That's long decent time, though. though. I ain't gonna lie. Some of us was forced to. I moved out at 17, but I ain't have a choice. Right. Right. I lived by myself when I was 17. Yeah. When I got my first apartment like on my own, I was so young that my landlord thought I was a runaway. What? And I was um I was 18 with a almost 2-year-old and he was like, "I want to give you this apartment, but I it would I would feel more comfortable if you if I was able to meet your parents." So I literally had to have my mom come to the lease signing so that he could make sure that I wasn't See, that's a weird to me. I started yeah. college when I was 17. So if you could go to college, you could get an apartment. You right. know what I'm saying? That's, I mean, it, it, I guess it was just something personal with the landlord at the time. Cause right. I was so so young with the kids. At least they cared. Right. Yeah, that, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I think it was like a moral thing for him. Like, what you made you? Right? <laughs> what made you move to Houston? Um, like why'd you pick there? Just testing out cities for real. Like, mm-hmm. I'm at the point where I could just like move around and da da da. And I didn't want to stay in my city because like. You know, you got you got people hating on you all type of shit. So it's like you gotta know how to 
Like, all right, I got to get up sure. and get the fuck out. You it's crazy. I was thinking about Houston. That shit lit out there. Like, would you that like- That shit lit, bro. Consider me moving out there? Yeah, bro. That shit yeah. lit, bro. And yeah. it's like- I was thinking about the A, though. It, That's where I live. I wouldn't move yeah. to the A, though. Mm -hmm. No? Why? No, I stayed in the A for two years, bro. I wouldn't do it. No? It's not- it's it's not as lit as you think. Everybody migrating out of Atlanta. You see what I'm saying? Like mm. Houston is like where everybody going, like especially like influencers and shit like that. Like yeah. that's where it's set for For real. tax purposes, I think a lot of people like it there. Period too. Right. right. <laughs> so you, Texas got some cheap shit. You trying to move? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to like, you know, expand all the way. But like I'm really trying to invest in a property, so that's like my main goal right now is to get mm -hmm. a property. So I don't know if I'm gonna do Atlanta or Houston. Okay, yeah, I think um, the main thing because you know I've invested in a few different mm -hmm. things myself. But the main thing, actually, I have a 30 unit building in Detroit, in Bye. Midtown, that's yeah, tough. Mm -hmm. which I'm um, actually be there tomorrow to check on. Okay. But um, I think it's also a matter of like where the real estate is gonna. Be affordable, but also go up in value. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so when it comes to investments, for sure. Right. Yeah, yeah all of those things that we take. And let me tell you something about Atlanta. I don't know about Houston, but the price went up in Atlanta. It yeah. definitely the did. The price yes. so high in Atlanta. The bro. price went up. And it used to be cheap. I moved to Atlanta 18 years ago, right. and where I live now, um, I rent a four bedroom, almost 3,000 square foot house, and that same specs mm -hmm. I rented 10 years ago, half price. Damn. Yeah. So half of the what pandemic, I pay now, I everybody paid 10 was years outside in Atlanta. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's not worth yeah. it. It's it's I mean, I, I love Atlanta, so I'm not going to yeah. so, I love Atlanta. I yeah. feel like Philly but went I, up also, too. Also, I've for... never lived in Houston and I've only visited Houston for like business reasons. I never really but stayed like, there for a long period of time. When you visited Houston, what was like the vibe you gave? Like I always uh, had a great time in Houston. Remember we went to Houston yeah. together. We had a good time. Yeah. yeah. But um, I haven't been there in a I, long time, but I do yeah. enjoy Houston. Yeah, I like Houston. Yeah, and I'm when really... I was I used to dance, so when I was stripping, I used to make money in Texas. Yeah. Um, I made more money in Dallas. Really lit like on that tip. Yeah, it was definitely the Every time sure. I went, really on that out yeah, there. Yeah, it was. Why not invest in Philly? I don't know. Philly properties is high for like a, like you're not gonna get what you getting from yeah, a you Houston get, or you're gonna get more for your more bang for your buck in the south. Yeah. For sure. And one thing I will say is always check and see if there's like incentives and programs. Mm -hmm. You know that's important too because a lot of times they love when you're from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you're able to give back. One thing I will say that's really helpful is to be involved in like the politics of a place where you're from. If right. you care about it, mm -hmm. you know, just make sure you see like what's going on, who wants to make change in the city, what right. programs are available, because that can be really beneficial for you too, just putting right. it out there. Mm -hmm. That's real too, yeah. yeah. So. Is St. Louis a good place to invest, you think? Uh, yeah, actually like it's going up for real. <laughs> yeah. Like, as in like, just like building like business wise as well, like it's far, it's far like more than just like selling like houses and stuff like that. Like they building new soccer stadiums and shit like that. So. That and that's when you really pay attention to what's yeah. going on when mm -hmm. they're building like new stadiums. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, and that things they like that. Do something. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Because people also would appreciate that. Like a lot of times I feel like, you know, we get a little money and then we move and we try to invest other places, but there's nothing like, you know, doing something where you're from. Right. Yeah. And right. getting yeah. people to support that. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, yeah. putting that out there. Definitely for sure. <laughs> Uh, look, I feel like all of this talk like has made you earlier, um, as we were discussing everything, think about, you know, your legacy too. Now, yeah. do you feel like you're in a position now? Do you have a girlfriend? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. When's the last time you've been in a relationship? Probably like a year ago. And what happened? She couldn't really like take like the, the shit that I was coming with. You feel me? Like like the whole growth process of me doing this show, me doing that show, me you feel me? Her seeing me doing this shit with this girl mm. and that girl. You feel me? That's I can't follow no female rappers and shit. Like, nah, you tripping. Mm. Yeah. You feel me? Like, this is what I, I yeah. do. You feel she me? She clearly like, was not the woman for you. That's what I'm saying. So after I peep that shit, I'm like, nah, yeah. I'm cool. Right. So you like being single? Hell right? yeah. I love being single. <laughs> I love being single, actually. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna say like I want to get in a relationship, but like it's less distractions. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't got to worry about when I'm at this video shoot. If I'm grabbing her ass, you're going to react by the time I come home and I show you. I can't even, you know? Uh, or you can find a girl that's with it. That's, that's what I'm saying. That but uh, That is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, if yeah, you're not that. understanding, it's like, you <laughs> yeah. feel me? I don't feel like no girl understand, though. Like it no, always. You, you have some point. women I, that might understand. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Bag, I did though. with some females. Like I'm talking to some females right now that act like they understand. 
Nah, but as soon as you get into the situation, it changed. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying, though. When you get in the situation, tell. it changed. Like, once like, you really get there, Or you like, had them girls that no. won't trip because you got a bag, but you don't want them type of girls. Yeah. You right. feel me? Right. I feel like I've been accepting of certain things in the beginning of my relationship, and then when I start caring about the person, that's I have what a I'm different saying. tone. Changed, for sure. I'm very clear. I tell my man, I said, I'm never having a threesome. <laughs> no? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah. But he's like, both of them had to shift to the club. Where's everybody going? That's crazy. Do you remember your first threesome? Yeah, it was in Miami. It was. Like, yeah, like a year ago. Like, not even a year ago. Probably like seven, eight months ago. That shit was like a quadruple. Some. Okay. Fun times. Yeah, for sure. Like my security, mm -hmm. I was in the room. My security straight sent like all the girls. They was looking for me. Mm -hmm. oh. We just had like a little game night in Miami and shit. Like doing like the little rolling loud shit. All the girls in the crib, they're like, where, 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 where? Because they know you feel me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, he in there. Like, go get him. It was like four or five of them. He said them all in the room. It turned out the light. They was all grabbing on my shit and all that. It was like, I felt like eight different hands <laughs> on me. Like, oh, like, oh, crazy. Was, like, <laughs> was it everything like, you thought it would be? I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> then I started seeing the girls, you feel me, do their little thing together and shit. I'm like, no, nah, it's, it's <laughs> lit. Like, this shit lit. You feel me? <laughs> for sure, yeah. for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. I was like, um, <laughs> right, like, no comment. You never had a threesome before. No comment. You never had a threesome before. No, I ain't never had no threesome, bro. Damn. And he never will. <laughs> like, <laughs> like on some on some crazy shit though. Like I always had like intimate sex though. Mm -hmm. Like. Well, clearly, you making babies. So. Damn. I told you so. <laughs> that shit deep. You can hear it in his music. Yeah. That shit deep, though. Mm -hmm. Like, you you get, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when you find out you're having a kid, like, you would you, you would <laughs> did a lot of shit, like, kind of different. Like, right. damn, but, like, I should have had a chance to do that. But, like, <laughs> then you'd be like, damn, but I'm in love with my girl, da, da, da. So, mm -hmm. I'd be like, it's straight. Yeah. Probably that would be some crazy shit. Yeah. Well, sorry. No. You gonna well, have maybe... a girlfriend, bro? You gonna see what it's like, bro? Like, <laughs> I but had maybe a one day, have you ever had a shit, conversation gang? with her if she would do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She not with this. She ain't with that shit. I know she. Hell no. Nah. She yeah. said no. She don't be playing that shit. Okay. <laughs> that shit not. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you too young, bro. Like you gotta really like. You feel me? I'm already. So you think you're never gonna have a threesome in your life? As she long might. as he's with his um, woman of his that. current, she might change her mind. No, you never, facts, you never say never. That right. I mean, I feel like, like you know it's a trust thing, thing, though. <laughs> never say never. No, she facts, might grow though. and evolve. It's a trust thing. Like, like how to change her mind. That's what I'm saying. Like your girl, like start trusting you more. Like that, uh, that right. end up right. with it. End up. Right. You know what I'm saying like women, women say no to threesomes for other. I heard females get reasons. jealous when they have threesomes. Yeah, I've had that happen. to me. Yeah, I was. Oh, you was the jealous one. No, no. Okay, other girl was jealous. Not. I've been in a threesome. How you know? Because I've told this story oh, right. before. I was We've been doing this okay, for nine like, years. Yeah, you definitely had that story yeah. before. So I was actually having a threesome with a married couple. Damn. I think they were married. I think they were married. And um, this was a really long time ago. But like mid-stroke, she stopped him and was like, you enjoying this too much. Damn. Like, Damn. Yeah. Like she she, she went ahead and looked like. I feel like you got to act though. Yeah, like you got to act like you're not enjoying it. Like you hate it. Oh like my God. Like, why are you making me do this? Well, see, that depends on your situation than the woman that you with because I've had a lot of threesomes with um, a guy that I was in a relationship with. I had threesomes with, you know, couples and right. you know, I've been in different types of situations when it comes to the menage a trois um, <laughs> and um, I've never been the jealous type. But Gigi's very confident. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you're very confident mm -hmm. in Life your like I want to I want to watch skills. I want to see I want you know I want to see right. what she's gonna do I want to see him enjoy it. I like wanna... imagine you having a threesome and like the other chick. Squirt all over your man. You be like, okay, now hold on. <laughs> right, damn. That's happened to I me before like, too. Damn. A girl squirted when he was having a three. It wasn't with my man. It was some guy that we just, you know, decided that we wanted to have some fun Sheesh. with. But she squirted, and I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> damn, I got a question for you though. Like, can you only have threesomes like when you drunk? Because I know that's a thing too. Well, see, I like pussy, so. Oh yeah, so like you could do that. I shit want a threesome. Sober. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not the girl that has to be talked into it. I'm the girl that's gonna be like, baby, let's be with it. it. Right. I'm, like, right. I'm like 110 percent sure. Every time I've been with more than one partner in the bedroom, it was because I was drinking. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel oh, like yeah, it's a junk. Yeah. It's a junk thing for sure. But you also are Stephanie not. Stephanie does that, say that. She's I like, like, I like drink. Lit, drink. Yeah. Damn. Nah, but I, I still drink. <laughs> We're not even gonna get into that conversation. But I, I feel like. But 
I feel like there's ways to do a threesome, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think I would do a threesome with somebody that I really love, you know? Because I don't want to share the dick that I love. Right. But when you're having fun, you know, it's a guy you you trust and a girl that you Mm -hmm. know is going to take care of you. It's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah. Well, look, if if your girl was like with another woman, would that bother you? No. You Even if like you weren't you were involved, snapping. No, nah. <laughs> no. <Nah. Okay. laughs> I went. I went. Well, it depend. It depend who with though. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Because girls be nasty too. So you gotta True. think like you with a girl, just like me with a girl. You see what I'm saying? Like as far mm-hmm. as like clean wise, you see what I'm saying? Health wise, like. But other than that, like nah, like I would want to see. Like, <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be like, shit, like, send me a video, like, let me see or some shit like that. Well, would I you ask be to there, join? Fuck the video. Yeah, yeah I would ask to join. <laughs> but I feel like that's some, just some nigga shit, though. Yeah, yeah like, and the, you know, they always say with a threesome, the girl has to pick who the other girl is gonna be. That's real, too. Yeah. I've always pick, wanted like a guy to pick, and they never do it. Yeah, they don't want it. I always like, those I call one of your hoes and tell nope. that bitch to come eat my pussy. <laughs> and niggas be like, no. No. Yeah. That's like you be lying to that bitch, and you don't want the truth to come out. Now, too. Have you ever story. ran a train? Hell yeah. yeah. I feel like I know you You had to. <laughs> now, you say you never ran a train. You, bro, that's crazy. The fifth. Hell yeah, I ran a train before. I played the fifth. Damn. Damn. I got a baby yeah. on the back. Girl, we get her, we get her, we get her, that's that's that tour shit. Hell yeah, I ran a train. Uh, did, were you first? You said, you said, was I was first? first? I was probably like second. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Yeah, you know, guys second. always lie. They either say I was I first or they say everyone else did it, but I wasn't involved. No. They say it'd be yeah, like I was probably like second. Be, you do be first I knew I wasn't going to last, yeah. though. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to last for sure. Like, <laughs> we used to be arguing about that shit in the crib. Like, Who's last? Like, Real shit, though. Yeah, last Whoever's at the crazy. bottom Fuck of the that. totem pole. You know Could what? you see yourself, um, let's just say there was a, uh, could you see yourself wiping up somebody who maybe in the past... Yeah, hey, ran the train. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> I know this. I know this guy from from my block in the city, and he had three kids with a girl that he met in the train. What? Yeah, see, he mm. shot the fuck out. He fell yeah. in love met, with them. And on the low, no. the first one ain't really his. <laughs> on the low, on the, low but on the high, we know now. We didn't know then, but now we know the first one wasn't even his. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got Shit me happens. fucked up. You got me fucking. Hey, up. love is love, love guys. No, and then when they Hell finally no. broke up, this is this is a crazy story. When then when they finally broke up, because they ended up breaking up, he ended up having a baby with the other biggest hoe of the block. Okay, so he, so he like must just like hoes. That yeah, was he must just like yeah. hoes. Yeah. Sure. We all that we always we like to them. use the word experienced. Mm-mm. Okay, the, the other woman. most experienced girl who was sucking dick in all the project staircases. <laughs> yeah, nah, he got it. Chill. Nah, yeah, I'm cool. He nah, he, <laughs> you he think just, you were good at? And he's one of those sensitive dudes too. Like he be crying and he oh, sings. Yeah, is yeah he, he a just all the way shot he's, out. He is a cancer. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I swear to God, he is a cancer. Damn. Like he's a sensitive guy. They be know? the sucker for love. <laughs> like, damn. Fuck, no, that's dead. You but he chill. ended up. But the second, the baby, the, the second girl, he, she got pregnant, right? She got pregnant and. She didn't know she was pregnant until so she was five months pregnant. Like so she literally, was still getting we, trains. Listen, we, we was no, she wasn't really a train. She was just with every guy on the block. For mm-hmm. sure. That's a train, like, yeah, either way. Yeah, it's a different. It's like a separated train, like right. one yeah, in the afternoon up. and then one in the evening and then <laughs> through the schedule, morning. Yeah. So she just yeah, was, she, she loves sex but that much. She, had a she didn't know she was pregnant. So when when the baby came out, it was like who's who's the father? Everybody on the block was like nervous. Yeah, and yeah, everybody. Time. And we, I, I was actually there. I was actually there when the baby was born, and I looked at it and I knew whose baby it was. And what? I told her, I was like, you know, this one looks like said person. And she's like, it could be, could be not, <laughs> could be anyone. Nah, so, so, so that up, was your the friend. Baby got bigger. She was my friend. She's not my friend anymore. But yeah, I'm uh, not gonna. Say I wouldn't trust her around my man. That's did they great. ever like? Did she ever actually like find out like DNA was like? Who baby it was? Yes, because oh, okay. she took him and to she um she took him to child support. It was who you you thought 
Yes. Oh, okay. But I'm talking about when the baby came out, spit an image like his father. Like, he mm. looked exactly like his father. You cannot deny, deny. who that father was. Yeah. The same color eyes. And he actually is one of the only people on the block who had green eyes. It was between two of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 It was between like, two of them. Like, this conversation is crazy. Yeah. Like, I'm and, having a no. baby. And then, <laughs> this shit is crazy. But this has nothing to do with you. You know what? This should make you grateful. I'm listening no, to this shit. I'm she like, gave birth, females do this shit. When she gave birth, he was still with the train. The one he met in the train, right? Damn. And it was like a proud. Who do you think is more savage, men or women? Savage? Yeah, mm. like savage. I ain't gonna lie, men. Yeah, men. I'm cute. I ain't gonna be one of them. See, we're talking about all this, but yeah, men are really one the one. ones. Yep. Yeah, they show yeah. it. They're not afraid. Like men, because, they're not I mean, afraid they to show it. They was all fucking her, right? And raw. They was going raw. Clearly, if she was, I would was never nervous. go on the train raw ever. <laughs> that's dead. He's like, I have more. So that's like a red flag right there. No, but so the first one that he met in the train, she saw the baby and she knew it was her man too because that was her man. You know what I mean? Since you said men are more savage, what would you? say is the most savage thing you've ever done the most savage thing i ever done off the top of your head like shit i can't believe i did that damn don't worry little kel we're not gonna ask you like what you mean by that like, <laughs> like as far as like, it's like different categories like, like, so besides running you look like being, being a part of a train right <laughs> multiple times like is there is there something that you did that you might have no in the moment or in hindsight that you broke somebody's heart and you might feel bad about it <sighs> Like damn, I you can apologize that. Did right you, now. Right I now. fucked the nigga wife before. See, that's savage. Yeah, I fucked the nigga wife, and he known too. Like, yeah. So. Or did yeah. you ever fuck a girl and then have another girl later on suck your dick after yeah. you didn't take a bath? I, know, I did that. You've done a lot of that's savage. savage. I know, I'm savage. That's thing. another one savage thing. So wait, the guy's like, wife? Were you friends with the guy? No. Okay, yeah. but you knew it was his wife. I ain't that savage. But you knew it was his wife. I ain't know it till like a little bit after. So I damn near did some shit that I didn't even know I did. For okay. Real, for and then you, but did you fuck her again after you found out? Yeah. He did. I did. I did. I did. I did. No, I did. I did. I did. I swear. Oh, okay. I promise. I did. Okay, you did. No, but it wasn't because of him. Like I still run that shit back. You feel me? Mm. It was because of her. It just ain't happened. She was like, I yeah. can't. Have you ever had your heart broken? Yeah, before, for sure. Tell us about it. It was. It was a bitch. You feel me? She from Philadelphia. <laughs> You, gotta be you know a bitch. what? No, cause listen, I'm, I'm I'm gonna say she a bitch because like she did you dirty. Yeah. Okay. So listen, it was a bitch, right? And you know, like when you upcoming and shit, and you try and build your fan base and shit like that, but you don't got the city like that. So I was in that position, mm -hmm. and the nigga had had the city at the time, but she was my girlfriend. Okay. Feel me? So once the nigga popped off, she started seeing the nigga government tag him in, in videos with his song playing on the radio and shit. I'm like, how the fuck you know, bro? And he just popped off. I know you don't really know, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I did my little homework and shit. Ah oh, shit. They had like a little block party party or something. Oh, where he was, you feel me, performing that. She she wound up being in the same hood, which is West Philly and all that shit at the same time. Like, like bitch, you from North mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel me? Like, you from <laughs> North. What the fuck you doing in West around the yep. same time as that shit? So I just, On the stage. I just did my homework, you feel me? So when I did my homework, I peeped game because bro was following me at the time. Then he wanted to unfollow me and shit. Ooh, so I, I said, know. Now you done made me have an issue with this other You feel artist? me? Yeah. So it's like, he wound up tagging and shit. So. Me and her had a little back and forth, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that shit broke my heart for real. Then I wound up eventually seeing, bro, on some LA shit. Once I, I had got signed off like my fourth or fifth song, and we wound up, you feel me, catching back up with each other. He tried to lie to me, tried to make it seem like she made she made him unfollow me and shit. But either way, I you feel me, I peep game though. Right. But yeah, and don't like it, the first. Didn't it feel good to be like, well, look what I got going on. You feel on. me? Yeah, hell yeah, nigga. We in the same position. Right. Nigga, look like, at me now, tripping. bitch. You feel me? No, real <laughs> shit though. <laughs> Well, yeah, them niggas are relevant now, though. I know she be wanting to double back on me now, but... <laughs> but you let her... <laughs> Fuck no. Well, okay, have you ever had your uh, heart broken? Yeah. A long yeah. time ago. Tell that. I want to hear it. I feel, like, I feel like you got one of them, <laughs> them middle school heartbreak stories. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I ain't get my heart breaking middle school. Middle school I was not a middle heart. school heartbreak <laughs> story. <laughs> you know, it's a middle one of the school, ones that, 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 they, that, they, yeah, that yeah. they carry with them forever. He was they like, don't I, got, let it go. <laughs> I broke some hearts in middle school. I said, I gotta be an artist. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like I don't remember. I don't remember when I got my heart broke for real. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't real then. So then you, right. yeah, yeah, because you would remember. Yeah. You would know. You would remember. Yeah, yeah that's like, still know. affect you to this day. Yeah, like the only thing, like. I made I made a song called like wrong and shit like oh crazy. that was like, the one that really popped up. Give me up. wrong and shit yeah, 
But I made that song about a girl, like, she was, like, linking up with my homeboy and shit. But they mm-hmm. wasn't, like, doing shit like that. It's just, like, you know, you feel some type of way, like, yo, yo you girl. You feel some type of way you made a song about this shit. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> That's some real shit. You had your you heart broke, song about it. But other than that, like, <laughs> it's like, I don't know. For sure. You, so, are all your songs, you would say, experiences that you've been through? Damn right. So, you the one that is, like, now. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. How do you know she was the one? Just because, like, I don't know. It's just a different energy. Like, it's genuine. You know what you I'm saying? You can't explain it even, right? Yeah, it's like That's how shit. you know you know. Yeah. It's like, I can't even get it out, but I yeah, know. Like, when you it's know, like you, you can, know. Like, even when you argue, like, with her like or a girl, like, that you into it with, and you know, like, that's the one for you, like, it's like, when you argue, when, like, you say, you tell yourself, like, I'm done with this girl, da, 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 and you go some days with you, like, damn, like, I'm still thinking about you, like, shit like that, like, that shit really be like, yeah, like. You in my head for real, and don't right. nobody like it's mind games for real. Like you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. <laughs> so what are you looking like? <laughs> and I was I was trying yawn without showing y'all that I was doing. Oh, wow. I had to do a little stretch yawn. <laughs> That's some real shit. Mm-hmm. Love, but that shit feel good though. That's how you know, like that love shit. That shit feel good. It do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the, so you guys did this cabin vacation? What's the first vacation you ever been on with a woman? Mm, mm, mm. I don't be on that. <laughs> He's like, I've never been on a fucking vacation. You haven't? I ain't gonna lie, I haven't. I you flew, never I, took I a woman on vacation? Out, you but like, I never, like, that's not the same that's not, thing. That's, that's not, not the same. same. No. Come on now. I never like slid the Cabo in Mexico, huh? Two black girls first class? No. Hell no. Oh, that's bad? Oh my God. How that's bad though? That's not bad though. I mean, you still young though. Yeah, you still, the girl that's around. gonna make him fly. You still her first young, class but yeah, you'll meet that girl that's gonna tell you like, yeah, you don't know don't it's worth it. it. Yeah. yeah, so you fly yeah. close. Do you pick the at least? Do you get like a window seat or? I don't need you put them in the fire exit. <laughs> Whatever, right. you I just grab whatever, whatever, whatever. You put them on know what airlines I'm getting. You put them on Frontier Southwest. Huh? You put them on Frontier Southwest Spirit. Spirit. I don't give a fuck. What I'm oh with your We got If you don't give game. a fuck, I don't give a fuck though. Well, but see, you want women. That girl that so don't give women, a fuck. women has their it women have their boundaries me. and standards, and you might have not come across that woman yeah, yet. Yeah, probably. Eventually, yeah. you're gonna come across that woman that's gonna be like a Delta One or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Yeah. Well, Delta One go everywhere. You know. They well, got chill, you know, I was putting though. it at the top of the top, but uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Comfort Plus Damn. at least. But it's a two hour flight though. So I still need to be in first class. Two hour flight. Damn, I'm sitting in the middle for two hours. Because diff- I need to be comfortable. Okay. But a two-hour flight means that you got to get on first an one hour on, in advance. First one off. So that's an extra hour. Oh. And then wait, like- wait. <laughs> Did Angela just say she could, you could sit in the middle? For two hours? <laughs> nah. That ain't shit. God, I what? did it before shit. <laughs> what? Why can't you do I'm it? Sit in the, I'm going to sit I, in the I, middle. I, I pay my own first class flight. Period. So. Or I'm going like, to upgrade. I'm known for upgrading, mm. even for work. I was just like, it depends what status you want to know too, though, for, for That's like, true. I'm not going to lie. Use my mind. Like, like if you ain't got no status, I'm not yeah. just, no. Yeah. I'm not just See, putting I'm, you in first I'm, class I to show you I got it. That's I'm platinum on Delta, and they'll upgrade me to comfort and put me in the middle seat, and I'll be like, all right, I'm going to eat that. Yeah. It's only two yeah. hours. And comfort. That happened to me today, as yeah. a matter of fact. <laughs> when I fly here, I got upgraded and I was in... But you booked your own shit though, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's work though, so have it's a little you, different. Have you ever been sprung off some pussy? Like, this is so amazing. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been sprung Look, off some look keep pussy. thinking about her. Look, look at this. I ain't gonna lie, like, when you do that, like, that's when you know, like, when you keep running that shit back, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all can argue and all that shit, but you gonna make sure you get that pussy. You know what That's like? how I know that I still got it because <laughs> I, I do some like I send a nigga, I send a man to hell. You do and some off the wall you shit. Come back like I don't know what's not about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know no, what's about. Though. I know. Have you ever had a girl pop up me? at your house unannounced? Hell Damn yeah. right. Boy, I hate Hell that yeah. shit. Why don't pull up on me? Right. What's wrong with you? Hell yeah, that shit happened to me like two times with three di- with two different females for sure. Nigga, that shit happened to me like ten times. Damn, damn, that shit some crazy. But that's how you know you really sling your wood though. You feel some real shit though. Like if you ain't sling your wood. What was you doing when when she popped up though? Was the question? Huh? What compliment. was you doing when she popped up? Is the question. She ain't catch you on no BS, did she? Fuck no. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I had a guy pop up I'm on me on one time. That. We were neighbors, and d- I recommend not ever messing with your neighbors, guys, <laughs> because <laughs> I was everything. in the apartment with the guy that I really, really, really liked yeah. a lot. And yeah. 
Homeboy came to my door drunk at four in the morning, <sighs> banging my door down. I drunk. just came from the club with this one and I just put him to sleep. And out of nowhere, I'm about Damn. to get in the shower. I hear somebody, the police sounding like it's the police on my door. Damn. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then that? I look and my phone is vibrating and I'm like, all right. So I, knows me. I look at the phone <laughs> and it's him calling me, calling call me, calling me, calling me, calling me. Time. I had to put the radio up so the one that I was wake him up. up. Yeah. Well, and look then the how, next day oh I my God. My ex, don't ever do that again. Ooh, I was damn. in a long distance relationship and my ex used to pop up on me all the time. And one Kept time he point. popped up. I feel like y'all like that though. Nope. No, I didn't no. like it. No. And let me tell you, this guy is so a like known that. guy. Mm -hmm. A yeah. guy who is not supposed no to be doing that. that. So listen, he popped up, right? And thinking he was going to catch me doing something. And he actually did catch me doing something. Guess what I was doing? What? I was having a butt shot party. What? <laughs> what? It was shot. literally a girl on the table getting butt shots. And he is like, popping up. And he popped up at my house. And that I was like, was what illegal? are you doing? It's very illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing here, right? So I'm Damn. like, all right. So he like thinking he caught me doing something. I'm like, all right, look. How before the fuck you walk you, in. Hold on. Not to cut you off, but how do you throw a butt shot party? So How the lady, no, 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 I'm not no, gonna no. give him the. I'm not gonna give him that. But How the, do you the lady, promote that shit? So though? not really a party. <laughs> no, not really no, no, a party. No, no. Okay. Not, not, not a party. It was private. But it was very private. Okay. But it was, oh, right, the lady came sense. in town and booked a bunch of appointments, and I let it happen at my house. Oh, wow. Right, That's what right, I meant by party. We We was vibing. We smoked weed. And at my house, everybody, everybody's okay. Everybody was good. And everybody, and we move on. But I had to give him a disclaimer. I had to give him a disclaimer at the door before I let him in the house. And I'm like, look, just go shut your steps and don't look. He like, what you mean? don't look I'm like just don't look please just promise you just don't look of course he looked and he, he got the steps and he's like what's going on Duh. I had to explain to him like we getting our butts done he like you got yours done I'm like I went yesterday like leave me alone damn you can't yeah, hear that I, introduction yours. you said it happened to you like 10 times hell yeah I, shit I went fucking viral for one of them <laughs> oh wow there. you ain't see that shit no what happened tell me girl put that I'm gonna look at the video after this and like <laughs> I was in the I was in the bed with my homegirl though. It wasn't with like my homegirl. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't nobody you was hitting. Home girl. Nah. Or you was, was hitting her. Keep it a nah, bit. Nah, 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 nah. I wasn't hitting. Was she naked? He fraud. <laughs> like, like, like. You look like he lying. She had your ethicals on? <laughs> nah. See? She like, was getting butt shots. Well, he fraud. You can't get out. She can't get out. Nigga. <laughs> nah, like, on some, on some real shit though, like, we straight did not like. You see what I'm so so y'all ain't never fucked ever. <laughs> Not that day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> got hard, dog. Got hey, right. okay. Okay. We finna pull it. We finna pull the up. Soon as we rap. <laughs> no, nah, bro. Like, no, nah, bro. Be quiet, man. Go ahead. Where your movie? <laughs> that shit was crazy. Mm hmm And go Talk ahead. Talk to me. To, Tell me what some of shit. Right. Like, really, it was on some shit. Like me and my home girl, we was chilling, we was watching a movie and shit. And then, like, what we movie just, was it? I don't remember. <laughs> but they wasn't watching. What happened? Get to the point. I want to hear this. We right, was watching thanks. a movie or some real shit. We was watching a movie, and uh -huh. we fell asleep. We fell asleep. Oh, and they then, fell asleep. Mm -hmm. And like, you got woken like, up by the girl. Seven at you in the morning. Like it was my girlfriend and shit like that. But though, like she was my girlfriend for a long time, but we had broke up type shit. Mm -hmm. We broke. We was broken up for like a month. She was coming to get her clothes. Ooh, at seven a.m. <sighs> See what I'm saying at seven a.m. But I knew she was on some. You know yeah, what I'm you was trying to catch you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she but she had like the code to the door. You know, you got the one shit where you just type in the code. Mm -hmm. She had that shit. She ran in my shit, boy. I opened my eyes. It was like eight girls, and I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit was crazy. This ain't no orgy. <laughs> eight girls. It ain't. <laughs> she came with her squad. She knew it was up. Yeah, bro. Like that shit was crazy. Mm -mm. So you never had attention on fucking the girl. That girl that you was in the game. The home girl that you was watching the movie with that fell asleep in your you bed. You not about to watch no movie or no home girl game. Yeah, like, in the bro, bed. We <laughs> niggas, bro. Now, did you have clothes on? I had clothes on. Did she have clothes on? Do you sleep naked? On. Do I sleep naked? Mm-hmm. See how I just uh, uh -huh. ignore it? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's my second time asking. Cool. He won't answer shit. Nah. It's the videos that's, available. That's, he can't listen, lie. All right. She, not no, answering she, is answer enough. We know. Right. She, she, she... Is she had to a close. lot of skin. She had a lot of skin. <laughs> she had so allergic to clothes. She had a lot of skin. So she <laughs> was in like her shorts and her bra. Okay, so she was naked. Did you still talk to her she after her that? Like since that was your homegirl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we, we kicked oh, it and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I ain't gonna fake it. Like that shit went viral to the point where you like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta like. Own it. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, my fault. I put you in like that situation. Like, right? I ain't try to do that. It was she looking like, cute at least? It was seven in the morning. Yeah, every every but black you know, every you black queen cute, is beautiful. Like, hey, Damn. Yeah. Seven in good the morning. morning though. Seven in the morning, crazy. Damn. That blew my shit though. How like, you f- nah, mm-hmm. that's that's crazy. like some PTSD after that. Like, I you, some real yeah, shit. Yeah, I sleep different real. now. Yeah, exactly. I be waking up like this and shit. Like, <laughs> man, you be I don't know if eight chicks. How the girls had eight girls with her. In the morning, though, like, like yeah. that was well planned and thought out. It, it had to have been because yeah. I know. Shout out fr- to my girls, Where my period. girls <laughs> and my bitches. Yeah, no, the crazy, crazy part is the crazy. The craziest part of the story is she drove all the way from Florida straight to my house. What? Damn, with That's eight people all the way to St. Louis or Houston? You must have put it Atlanta. down to Atlanta. Atlanta? Damn. That's like nine hours. Oh, no, I ain't never had no crazy nine, shit like that. You know how mad you're going to be to not yeah, turn around crazy, at some know. point that's during that drive? Shit. Like, you know what? This is crazy. No, that's, <laughs> that's crazy, gang. <laughs> but shit, I already like... That shit was some years ago. Damn. I outlived She was probably shit. trying to prove a point. I'm still alive. She was trying to prove a point. That's for sure. Alive, for real. You told I'm still alive. Just keep killing me every time. <laughs> that's some scary shit, though. <laughs> It's been like a reminisce part two. Damn. <laughs> some real shit. Fuck. <laughs> Just think about all the things you've been through already in life. You know? And here you are like, shit is just still all the way going up. No, for yeah. sure. Don't it feel good? Yeah, Hell yeah. And y'all got so much more life to live. No, for yeah, sure. Facts. Yeah, y'all, That's why I'm really trying to get tied down started. right now. Like, no. I know you feel like you've been here for a but, long time, but it's you got so much more ahead of you. No, no, no. I definitely know I ain't been here that long. You feel me? And I definitely got way more in store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but that's why you need to get in a relationship. You gonna, but I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. You, convince me to get in a bro, relationship. You gonna keep like, going like up. Single. You gonna keep going up, bro. You gonna get to a point where you'll never get in a relationship because it's like I'm so lit now. Like you can't trust nobody you unless she be beneficial to me, though. Mm-hmm. Would you date that's somebody that's in the industry? I don't know. We gotta be or maybe like an actress other. or an Hell athlete. Hell yeah, I would. Oh yeah, he definitely actress, would. Actress I don't know about like athlete. a rapper, or female, or not like I don't know. An R and B singer. Probably so. Maybe you date an IG model. Yeah, some real shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course he would. Hell yeah. For Why real? not? It, it, I ain't gonna lie. It all depends on how the fuck the vibe is, for real, for real. You yeah. feel me? Because like, that's what matters. Part, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you throw off for like you different or something, you ain't really ran through like that. Mm-hmm. And then plus, she'll understand what you got going on too. Mm-hmm. You know, and sometimes that's important. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, ain't I feel like lie. any girl that catch feelings, like, mm, right? Feel me? Have you ever? See, we always talk about women catching feelings, but y'all catch feelings too. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I be in love. Yeah, y'all Clearly. catch feelings too. Y'all be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fishing her in front. Like, I'm in love. Shit. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing. Yeah, at nothing all. wrong at all. No. Well, listen, guys, I appreciate that y'all. We had a good time with y'all no, tonight. For sure, for sure. For sure. I'm not going to lie. This was fun. Definitely. Uh, yeah. You know, I just want to make sure that also, because we didn't even promote nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was just talking about right, What's shit. next, y'all? <laughs> shit, man. I'm just promoting this project, True For Real, right now. Mm-hmm. My first project ever. I got more singles That's on the way. That's exciting. Congratulations. And you're signed to uh, Yeah, I appreciate Warner? it. Yeah, Warner, for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out my to Warner. Shout out to Ryan ever. Press. Yeah, that's, that's my guy, guy Ryan. Yeah. I went to high school with Ryan. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, we, you know he from Uptown. He for from real? Harry. Yeah. I got Ryan's like then. my little brother. Mm-hmm. I ain't meet him yet, for real. But you, you know we talking about. We're going to FaceTime him in a minute. Right, yeah, let's call Ryan. Ryan yeah, is literally him. like my little brother, for real. When he first, before he even got started in the music business, he used to sleep on my couch Damn. and go to meetings. Like, he'll tell you. That's crazy. Yeah, and Damn. he's from Philly, so we yeah. love that. Yeah. Damn. How do you meet so many Philly people? My best friend is from Philly. She's from Mount Erie. Mm-hmm. Like how? Yeah, like, she went to what? um, where she went? Germantown Friends. So you from out here? What high school? I'm you from went Brooklyn. To? Okay. What high school sense. you went to? I went, I went to Lincoln High School in okay. uh, George Washington. And she went to oh, you Central. went to smart schools. Yeah. I went to FLC. For real? Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I know about FLC. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a bit smart, you know. But my best, <laughs> like I said, my best friend Santi goes. She's from Philly, mm-hmm. and um, I I used to every summer because we went to college together, stay with her in Philly. On mm. Sedgwick Street. That's where their house was. On okay. Sedgwick. Yeah. Uptown. Yeah. So that's why I feel like I know a lot of Philly people from her. Right. Because she went to college. I mean, she went to high school with um, Ryan's older brother, Damien. And then that's okay. how I know Ryan. He was like mm-hmm. my little brother. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. All right. Okay. And then let's talk about you. Yeah. What's next besides this baby boy yeah, on the way? Yeah, this baby dropping. Little, little <laughs> this baby dropping. When's the baby um, coming? Uh, 
Like December. Okay, so oh, a Sagittarius yeah, or a Capricorn? Oh, uh, like the end, the end. I don't know. Oh, about Capricorn like me. That shit might come. Yeah, early, is that a good thing or a bad? Amazing thing. Oh, okay. Your son is gonna be very practical. You probably gonna have gonna, a Christmas baby. Yeah, your yeah, son is gonna make some money. I don't want no Christmas baby though. Nah. To me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no. Separated. And it sucks for us too because we get them joint presents. Like this for your Christmas. This for and Christmas your birthday. Right, right. Yeah, but me, I know I go all out. So I'm going to have to come out of him. No, that'd be great. Lil' Lil' Kyle's going to be spoiled. He's going to be spoiled like yeah. a motherfucker. You have you a name for him know? yet? Uh, Yes and no. Okay. So many different names. Not a junior. No matter what, no, it's going to be Lil' Lil' Kyle. We can't, we can't help that, right? right? His middle name definitely going to be like Mikhail. That's my middle name. Okay, Mikhail. Okay. Yeah, you got a little Mikhail. Like all right, show. so what else besides the baby dropping? Well, a lot of a lot of <laughs> shit. Like uh, this week, I got a new song coming called Reminisce. We oh, heard it. Yeah, we love it. Sure. Yes, we do. Yeah. Appreciate it. That shit gonna be fire. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a project coming soon with some hard shit on it. So. Okay, no particular date yet. No particular date. Well, I think it's a date, but okay. I don't remember. That shit. I think around the baby is good. What to drop a project? <laughs> Hell no! Nah. You gotta drop that shit All this baby shit. Yeah. Before, before the baby, before the baby. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, November tenth is the date. November tenth. Okay, okay, so we have very soon. It's in November tenth. Yeah, that's very soon. Yeah, that's very soon. November tenth. Yeah, she yeah. 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 healed. Period. <laughs> All right, is it baby making music? Oh yeah, it's some baby making music on there. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 right. So you need to listen. All right, to that no, it's not need to listen to that. Yeah, don't listen to that. Shit. Yeah, I'm crazy man. I bet. <laughs> it should be a song called Plan B. <laughs> man, damn right. He probably got you one need a song called shit. Plan B. Look, you got one. You need to make a song called it. Plan B. <laughs> you yeah. make the song Plan B and you do the feature. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you gotta make the song because I'm the nigga without the Plan B. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> this was it. So you no make no the Plan B, B. and then plan you do the hook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. lit. That sounds yeah. crazy. That's no, but I love this. Thank y'all so much for coming. We appreciate your time talking. I know it wasn't like a conventional interview. We had it. Lip service is never conventional. Yeah. All right, let's serve it. For sure. Game. Sure. <laughs>